Hey guys and welcome back to Hacknet, not Hacksnet as I've been saying for like the entirety of this season which is a crazy if you ask me. I thought it was spelt with an X, turns out I've just been completely deluded all of this time. I'm going to go around and start up a few shells on a whole load of these machines here because once again you know an, an appropriate hacker needs an appropriate uh Botnet. Botnet is the word that I am looking for there. All I did was take over Banished Stallion Consortium, Viper's Battle Station, and Jason's Power Book. That, that's all we need. Now, this top one here, this is my machine, so we're going to set the track. You, the trap. You never know. We could end up getting traced, and then when the trace comes back to my machine, I've got to hit this trigger. I'm not entirely sure, because I've not actually done that properly. I'm going to disconnect from my own machine, and we are going to go over to the C, uh, C-Sec, is what I've been calling it, right? This is the contract hub. We need to get ourselves a pretty good little contract to get going with. Last time, we literally just got ourselves uh, connected to this group. We went and stole the CFC's uh, secret recipe, the, her the herbs and spices. So, uh, bought current have I got a current contract on the go? Let's have a look at the user. No, not the user list. User list is not going to do me any good. Contract listing. Yeah, we, I don't think we we took anything here. Let's go and have a look. Invitation, congratulations. No, no, no. We, we didn't actually accept a contract there. So let's go and have a look. Uh, should we just start at the top and work our way down? Or do we want to be like death row record for a family member? Like, no. No, I feel like this may be a little bit beyond me. Let's start. Let's start here. With new group, new beginning of a table. Get a copy of someone's medical record to settle an argument. Okay, we can do that. Let's go and read the actual email. R Rod of Acepolis? I think that might be how, how that's pronounced. So, I may or may not have got involved in a bit of an internet shout-off with someone who was posting clearly photoshopped pictures of dot dot dot. You know, it doesn't really matter. Look, I need a legit re medical record of this guy to settle it all in a dramatic fashion. Uh, I'd get it myself, but uh, I made these intentions pretty clear, and you know how CSEC is with stuff like that. Yeah, well, don't do not do the things that you've said you're going to do. Don't let people know. Anyway, can you help me out? His name is Jonas Sandsberg. The medical database has, uh, has a tool to send records to people. You can flick a copy to Gilia at Gmail. Uh, Gmail. Okay, so there's the medical records notes and stuff. Okay. Okay, this is good. All right, we can do this. Where, where did this just pop up? I didn't see it. There it is. Okay, on the bottom. Let's go and have a look. Admin access required. Well, we know what we do. We do a scan. No, we don't. Well, there. Yeah, let's do a scan. We keep forgetting to do a scan. Scanning requires admin access. All right, fine. I suppose we'll start here. What we want to actually do is a probe. A probe is how we start every encounter like this. This tells us what... Sir, what um, Ports are available to us. Look at all these. Oh, look, we got an SQL server injection. We got a proxy and a firewall. So let's start by overloading the proxy. Nothing has started saying um, that it's tracking me. So I, I'm not. I'm not sure what's going on there. We also need to try and crack this firewall. And we do that by running multiple analysis on what is going on on this text of wall here. Wall of text. Text of wall. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Basically, every time we run the analysis, it checks stuff against each other and then only shows the things that are consistent, the letters that are consistent. So, M-E-D-I-C-A-T-E, -E, medicate, medicate, something like that. Oh, wait, 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 it, that's not how we do it. We go, solve medicate. Ta-da! Successfully done. Okay, cool. Now we need to start cracking this thing. So, it's not S-H, it's S S. H. That's the one we want. And this, of course, is on 20... It's not there. It's not there. Okay, fine. Let's do our SQL injection thingy. Uh, and we're going to go 1433. Three. Is bad things going to happen now? Bad things are not happening. We are, however, out of memory. Uh, memory corruption detected, doing the core dump. And then we're going to be able to, like throw some stuff into here, I should imagine. This is this is normally what happens with SQL injections. Well, what normally happens is you find a nice little... Um, oh, I just spilled tea all over my keyboard. You find a nice little program somewhere, a login or something like that, where someone hasn't, hasn't made things like, uh, I don't know, quote marks, at symbols, slashes. All these things should be stored as... Like alternate codes, alt codes. You've probably seen those. Uh, they're, they're, they're stored as something else actually in the system memory. I can't remember exactly what they are, but it means that the SQL program doesn't end up receiving these symbols that are like commands. And that's how you do an SQL injection. You put the commands in. Uh, 
goes, oh, you were supposed to have stopped this, so let me turn and do the next thing. Um, not, not that I know anything about that. I, literally everything I found is off of computer fire, right? <laughs> okay, so we're doing this. Let's, let's get the SMT set up, because that is going to be one that we have to do. This is nice and easy, nice and relaxed, chilled, laid back. Can I do both at the same time? I can't. That's, that's fine. That's fine. I have no problem with easing back here. Just got to wait for all of these to be done. I mean, like, do I actually need all these hacks? Like these ones here, the, all the shells. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I would like to say yes. Uh, so we've got two of them open. This medical services. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Do we have a web web thing? We do. It's the the web server worm. And this puts out some sort of like I don't know oscilloscope display. I'm not sure what we're, we're supposed to be doing with this over here. Like what what it's supposed to represent. I, I I have no idea at all. But has that got us all four? Not yet. Come on, dude. You can do it. There we go. I wish there was a better way of knowing how far through that was. But we've got all of this now, so we're just gonna port hack. I can't believe they haven't got a trace running on me yet. That is crazy. Medical services. That would be nice. Okay, we're in. We're in. Scan. Scanning complete. No nothing connected to the network. Okay, that's that's fine. We can live with that. Random entry. Search. Let's do a search. Wait, wait, wait. Hacksaw leak skill. Where, where's my name? It's a, it's around somewhere. Let's just go with Hacksaw, see what we get. No fat. Ah, oh, well, I mean, it does help that I've never been there. Okay. Johannes. Was it? No, yeah. Uh, and a name Sandberg. Like, like that, I think. No, it's a U. I always get that wrong. Ooh, ooh, uh, I've moved, I've moved my stuff around. Sandberg. Okay. All right, we've got that. Email this record. A case of testicular elephantitis. First note of the age of eight. Ooh, wow. Treatment is applied regularly since of great, uh, to great effect. Though swelling of effect is incredibly noticeable. Excellent hygiene practices and continued treatment made it manageable. Wow. I mean, oh, could you imagine? Just like. Yeah. Oh, look, his age is being counted up in seconds. That's crazy. I don't know what my age is in seconds. Like, not, not even. A, oh, no. Specify address. Where are we going? Uh, Gila at. No, that's the wrong one. At Gmail. I wish there was a. Is there an autocomplete? There's not. An, uh, I press. I press code. What? No. Com. There we go. Things are going wrong. Send to a different address. Specify address. This address. I pressed tab to see if the autocomplete would work, and it ended up, ended up sending it somewhere else. We get back to the main menu. We need to um, CD slash log, right? Yeah, of course we need to. I mean, these are always hidden there somewhere, so you, you got you got to go around and try and find out what what is been going on. If you know what I'm saying, medical records. <laughs> Look at all these names. Look, literally just those records there. Um, Am I am I even close to being on here? What does, does it like store my name as a separate thing? I don't know. Like my last name, like Leet Skills is supposed to be my last name. I'm not sure if that's actually a thing or not. De uh, default boot module, that's nice. Oh, I tell you what, we have not done. I tell you what, we have not done. Now that I've not read anything, let's DC. Uh, I want to go around first, clear all the logs here. CD slash logs. I should be able to now just kind of, yeah, do things like this. This is nice. This is very nice. Push up and CD log. Push up and RM start. Yeah. And do this one as well. Okay, there we go. That's all of those. Go back to mine. View the, view the logs here and delete those one last time. So that is the note done. Let's close that. I would have actually liked to have left that open. I could have added notes at any point. Um, reply. <laughs> no. Looks like he is not lying. Add. <laughs> Send that on. Alright. So we, we've got some stuff here. What? Really? Uh, uh, it's legit. Wow. So yeah. Wow. Well, there we go. He, he is blown away by what he has found out is just true in the world. Uh, you, this happens all the time. When you find out a bit of truth in the world and you're like, 
No. That's not how it works, surely. Uh, reporting successes, please, with your work. Please feel free to accept further contracts. Nice, thank you very much. Uh, new assets had added. A uh, new tool has been added into the asset uh, name themechanger.exe. Oh, okay, I'll go and... Yeah, let's let's use that. Asset server, let's go. I knew where that was. Well, we're just going to log in. I mean, last time I broke in, but this time we're going to just log in. Uh, view logs. Here I am. But I copied all these files. Uh, why didn't I did get rid of that? Why is that not something I got rid of? Let's read the info.txt. Program allows fast hop swapping of X server themes from local and remote connected sources. Files in the remote row are remotely hosted valid themes. Um, okay, this doesn't really tell me too much how to do it. So let's. No, 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 no. SCP Theme Changer. Okay, let's go into there. So now if I. If I do Theme Changer? Does it just work? Look at this. No valid files. Let's look at that one. Activate. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. I like this. This is a very nice layout, actually. We've got all the information over here. We've got all the stuff that we're running there. Let's exit that. Oh, it looks like super, super nice. What's in the background here? It's a picture back there. All right, anyway. Uh, logs. Delete everything. RM star. Okay. I think it's time we went and got ourselves a second contract. I mean, what, what, what? What else would we be doing? Okay, so everything's moved around here, so I'm not entirely sure where everything is. Invitation, assets, that's a proxy. This one. This one right here. This is what we want. Hey, I'm going to log in. Thank you. Uh, contract listing. Teaching an old dog new tricks. Uh, int academic. Well, maybe. Uh, locate or create decryption software. That's pretty nice as well. Remove a fabricated death row record. Hey, added a add a death row record. Ooh, remove add. Maybe we can take both of them, right? Uh, wipe clean an academic record. That sounds pretty sus. Let, let's do this teaching. A potential friend of the group needs a degree added to his resume. Okay, let's go and do that. This should be relatively simple, right? Binary University. It's good to have friends in high places in digital security companies, especially friends that know nothing about computer security. One such very friendly individual has recently contacted by an agent, and we need a small show of power to win him over. We'd like you to give him a new degree for, from his local university in Manchester. Uh, John Stalverton. Let's, let's add a note. There we go. We've got, we got some note stuff here. I want to get rid of that. Thank you. Um... GPA 3.0 or higher. This one here. This is where we're going. Okay, cool. About this server. Do we read the about this server? Let's read. Information. Welcome to the International da Academic Database. This is a public access server. Provides centralized access to academic records from every internationally recognized university in the world. Ooh. Our database is managed and maintained by the administrators of the secure terminal with additions from selected leading universities that contribute to the database. If you are the vice chancellor of a university and wish to contribute to this database and internationally recognised it, and be internationally recognised, email administrators at admin, admin at mail. I could, ooh, I mean, like we could, we could, we could mail these people and tell them that we are a vice chancellor. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? Um, we want to search for a dude. Uh, I'd like this John Stal. Burn. There we go. Just got to look up and down all the time. Unfortunately, I may have described this before, but I haven't quite got, um, like, touch typing down. So I can't look at the screen and do that. Now, it says GPA 3.3 or higher. I'm guessing the closer to 1 you are, the better. I have no idea what a GPA is. No. No, I, I haven't got General points average? I don't know. I don't know. But let's, uh, let's do a probe. Okay, here we go. We got the probe. Firewall is detected. Well, we gotta analyze that. Uh, oh man, we're gonna have to do it a few times in a row. I do dislike it when it's like, hey, we're gonna start the trace on you right now. And I'm like, ah, I suppose that's all right. But man, if we could just be a little bit more um, subtle about it. Yeah, su subtle is what we're after. Okay, what do we have? C A D E. I don't know. Let's just type them in as we go. C A D E M I C. There's got to be an A there, right? Academic. There we go. There it is. I missed that one. Uh, solve academic. Okay, cool. Oh no, we we are 
not doing the things we need to do. Uh, we need to do this on the 21, okay? And we'll do the SMTP if we can uh, on 25. We've got a feeling it's going to be like, no. Meh. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We're going to have to wait for it to be finished. Watching all these dots down here. We've got our first beep. And it's a little, little un unsettling, I've got to be honest. It's a little unsettling. Don't give me no memory. We know you're all right. Just, just get on and do the things I want you to do. If you could just do everything for me, I will be very, very happy. We're going to do the webworm as well as soon as that drops down to the bottom. Nice, let, let that RAM clear and put the next one in place. That actually takes less RAM. Okay, let's try the uh, SQL injection if we... SQL memory corrupt, that's the one. One, four, three, three. I've got the SQL injection stuck in my head. That's not what we're doing here. It's not what we're doing here at all. Okay, so that one's gone. Insufficient memory. Oh man, look at that. We are literally just topping up on that. Um, is this the last of it? It is the last of it. So we can do a port hack uh, and see what happens after this. 40 seconds. We're about halfway through. About halfway through. We, could, we should be able to do that fine though. If we could get this running a little quicker, I really want to know how to upgrade my machine. Upgrading my machine would be a lot better. I'm going to do a CD log, okay, and then we're going to clear any and all um, like trace that I've been here, and then we're going to disconnect. Like that. Okay, and this should then, no, no, just keep, keep going back, disconnect. And that completely clears me of any... Uh, any problems okay and then we can go valid administrator account detected see how simple this is see how simple this is uh, okay so we need to search entries we need to find John Stahl St come on Theron. there we go Ty typing works it it's a thing that I can do you know uh, once we've got this we need to edit okay university masters in digital marketing no 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 um, no, this isn't what I want. Edit. Edit. Uh, Masters in Digital Security. Just double checking that this is actually what they want. And it is actually what they want. I'm not sure whether that... Uh, we'll put it in as a, a GPA 3. Uh, uh, edit. No, not, not 2. Uh, 3. There we go. All right, this should save and return. Oh, we, we could have added. Let's see what happens if we just do it like this. Let's see. We'll be like, well, we did what you said. We did what you said. Oh, I didn't actually. Uh, oh, that's bad. Wait, we, we need to do a CD slash log again, right? And delete all of this. Very important that, that any trace of us changing stuff is completely gone. Completely gone. Okay, there we go. Now we can DC make our way back to our email hi reply additional details done this this should be it right contract successful congratulations the client of your recent contract reporting success and pleased with your work you're now free to accept further contracts current ranking is 80 out of 100 oh that is so so good so so good where's the bit i'm looking for here we go point clicker let's come along and see what point clicker is up to you see i've been clicking a lot on here we're up to uh 300 and so i keep trying to click this auto clicker level one as well but like you've got to click so hard i would actually like a little bit of software that will auto click for me i know these say that they are auto clicker but they're, they're really not auto clickers they're just like hey we're going to add more points to your points per second total where are we at the moment we're current I mean, look at this. Points per second, four, 400,000. If I just keep doing these top levels until we can't do any of the top... Oh, look, I can just keep keep clicking around these top levels and eventually we'll get one. I mean, I could, <coughs> excuse me, if I really wanted to, hack into the files in the background and upgrade these to 999s. Uh, like, we know the file format. We've seen this from other people. Uh, when we came in and changed their scores. So, I don't know. We, we could do that. Anyway, that, that was a nice little fun um, side view there. View logs. Let's have a look. A lot of connections and disconnections. All I'm doing is playing the game. So, I, I, I don't care. I don't care. All right. We need to go around and we need to clear everything from our botnet. That is a must. Uh, RM start. No, is that going to delete everything? Far not fan. Okay, I just, I just wanted to know if that would actually delete everything, which would be hilarious if you ask me. Uh, I'd just be like, oops, took down one of my bot networks. 
Okay, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this academically cha challenging ex uh, adventure. Oh, and linguistically challenging adventure at the end there. <laughs> I will see you next time. We're going to take on a few more contracts. Try and work our way up the rankings. And maybe, just maybe, we will find ourselves some more storyline. Well, I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!